What's the deal, YouTube? This is your boy Gamer 27 and once again, I want to thank you for joining my channel. And it seems that Splatoon in Japan is just getting better with age because it seems that they are still in the top five, which they are number three on the media create charts, selling at 34,135 units for a total of 382,175. And that's not including digital. And the uh, other reports that we got a few days ago is uh, that Splatoon is the best selling eShop game of all time. And that's selling, that's saying a lot because you got Mario Kart 8, you got Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, you got uh, Super Smash Brothers, you got those those popular games on that eShop. And you tell me that a brand new IP outsold those games. And it's a shooter. Which I could have sworn that shooting games is not for the Nintendo crowd. So that tells me that Nintendo fans want more than just Mario's all the time. You know, we want new IPs. We want genres, you know, games from every genre, from sports, from survival horrors to JRPGs. We, we need all of it. And last time I checked, I could have sworn that the Wii U was supposed to be for you and me for everybody the, all the games that we enjoy from ready eve all the way to ready mature that's what exactly what reggie fisman said on stage uh, uh at e3 2011 basically we supposed to uh, this supposed to be this hardcore system which it was for a few months until the third party companies abandoned the wii u because they just knew that the system was going to fail and it failed commercially because um of the lackluster of the sales and it still hadn't reached 10 million yet and it's almost at its third year it's on it's basically it's on its third year but it won't be the exact it won't be exact three years until november so you know and plus you got the ps4 you know basically outselling the wii u badly even though the ps4 and the xbox one came out a year later and they both and both of them overlapped them and that tells you that the wii u it you know it failed commercially you know that doesn't mean that it doesn't have great games no, it has great games it's just that it doesn't have enough games and with platoon being the brand new ip that tells that should tell nintendo that we need new ips we need newer games because you know if you give us uh, new fresh innovative games you know then we will give it a try if it looks fun if it looks interesting then we will give it we will give it a shot just like a lot of people gave splatoon a shot and it seems as that in japan it seems as that everybody wants to play splatoon in japan and it's a good thing that should be a good thing uh, for nintendo and that's that's positive that's positive with nintendo as a positive sign that's that's something i can say positive about nintendo you know they did a good job with Splatoon, with Splatoon, even though I ranted about them. And, you know, of course, over the past few weeks, um, ever since this, uh, the game got launched, you know, of course, it was launched with lackluster features and not enough maps, not enough weapons. And, and you know, it was fun. You know, it was fun to a certain extent, but it just got to a point. I was like, man, okay, when are we going to have new maps? When are we going to have new weapons? But, of course, we got new uh, maps and weapons over the course of the few weeks uh, after the game was launched. And, of course, we supposed to have this big August update when we could actually play with our friends, which is pretty sad. And that tells you that this game was probably rushed and it was probably wouldn't finish, to be honest. Because, you know, I never heard that, you know, playing an online multiplayer shooter game that we can't play with our friends on day one like you know if you you know games like battlefield and call of duty you never i never heard that before that on day one we can't play online with our friends that's that's a no-no i'm <laughs> just being honest and by splatoon being a brand new ip i'm just so surprised that it sold this well even though the game had a lot of you know a lot of a lot of backlash you know because of the whole entire voice chat um incident even though i was part of i was ranting about the voice chat a lot and you know doesn't take it away from the funness of this game no it it does and it doesn't to a certain extent but overall i still enjoy the game and it, it's a fun game you know i wanted to wait until august about the game because that's when it's going to have all the content and all the the big updates but since my wife been watching the commercial she been watching the uh, splatoon direct she wanted the game day one so i went ahead and bought the game since she wanted to play it asap so I just I went ahead and bought it, you know, and let her play it. Then I started playing it, and I started enjoying it. And, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully pretty soon we'll probably get this update. And 
and so I can actually play with a lot of my YouTube buddies. So anyway, guys, I just want to just um, bring this up about Splatoon. You know, that's, that's a good, uh, you know, it's a good thing that it's sold a million, so that we can actually get a Splatoon uh, sequel on the NX. And hopefully, whenever the uh, Splatoon sequel come out, we can actually have voice chat and have a lot more features than the original Splatoon. And y'all just let me know how y'all feel about Splatoon. Um, do y'all think it deserves to sell as much? Do y'all think this game still lackluster on the features, or y'all, or y'all just don't really care about the features? Y'all just, you know, y'all just basically just um, excited about Splatoon because it's just a, a fun game. Y'all just let me know how y'all feel about this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. And once again, this is your boy Regame Twenty Seven, and y'all have a good day.